Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We got some healthy recipes coming your way. We're gonna keep them coming. I'm here with Alicia. Say hi, Alicia. Hey. Today, we're going through our series of replacing some of your starches at dinner, or lunch for that matter. And I challenged Alicia to come up with another healthy but tasty recipe. What do we got? We've got zucchini noodles with a sun-dried tomato pesto. So you're gonna get that feeling of a noodle, but it's all vegetable, and it's not even cooked. No cooking? No cooking. You put the sauce on that zucchini and let it hang out. It'll break it down and get nice and tender and you don't even need to put it in a pan. Easy peasy. Woohoo! Since there's no cooking in this recipe, you guys, the magic is in the prep. Alicia's gonna show you exactly what to do. First, we trim the ends off of the zucchini and then we're just gonna take our peeler and make those noodles. Hey, that doesn't look like the one I got at home. Yeah, I actually have a fancy one. This one will do a julienne setting or your regular old peeler. And if you use the regular peeler, it'll just make flat noodles instead of skinny ones. Aha. Uh -huh. Check out the noodles. Now you guys, these noodles do look pretty fancy, but if you wanna go that little extra and purchase some of those spiralinis that are available on the market, you can get them at, where can they get them? I've seen them at Bed and Bath, but at a really good price, so. Bed and Bath, online, very easy to find. Okay, so those will give you some extra fancy noodles, but this actually worked out really well. I, I like the technique that you had there. Yeah, when it's just a lot easier, you know? No specialty gadgets, really. Right. Are you guys ready for the sauce? Alicia's cooked up something special. The pesto sauce could not be easier. Basically, you put all the ingredients into a food processor and turn it on. We start with one cup of sun-dried tomatoes that we'll coarsely chop and then pop into the food processor. We'll do the same thing with half a cup of fresh basil leaves. One clove of garlic. The juice from half a lemon. And three to four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. The good stuff. And then we'll season with salt and pepper to taste. Hey you guys, as we're filming this, it's summertime here in New England. What a beautiful time of year and a really great time for these herbs, especially this little guy right here, basil. This is actually from Alicia's backyard and man, smells delicious. You did a great job with this. <laughs> and um, it, as we said, it's easy to grow, tastes great, really good for you. Loaded with uh, antioxidants that can protect your body uh, from free radicals. And so you get the health benefits and a great way to just add some punch to your dishes without adding any additional calories. Once your sauce is made, put it on those noodles and mix it up. Oh, Alicia, this is looking good. Are we ready to eat? Hold your horses, Max. We gotta wait. This has to sit for at least 10 minutes so all the flavors really marry and it draws out the water in the zucchini so it really kind of gets that sauce everywhere. All right, you guys, I think it's time to eat. Alicia, what do you say? Yeah, definitely. Let's do it, cheers. Cheers. Mm, so good. Yeah, fresh basil. Love that with the tomatoes. Mm-hmm. You know, I think maybe a little hot pepper flake might be nice for me personally. All right, a little spicy. A little you can spice. add a little uh, Parmesan cheese grated. And you know, it really does have that that pasta feel that um, that, that you sometimes you're looking for and totally guilt-free, you guys. The tomatoes, sure, there's a few calories in there, but you know what, those are good calories. Zucchini, a lot of people don't know this, zucchini is actually a net zero calorie. It's all fiber and water, so you can eat how many zucchinis can you eat? You feel free to have as many as you want. Uh, this is fantastic, this dish right here. If you don't have sun-dried tomatoes, uh, cherry tomatoes, regular Absolutely. tomatoes. Absolutely, regular tomatoes, I mean, whatever. The garden, it's oh. gonna be ready, so go for it. Yeah, and we were talking about making this a complete meal. You can just add, you can make this a meat sauce, okay? You add, don't grind the meat up with it, okay? So, but cook some uh, ground turkey or ground beef on the side, and you can mix it in. You've got a complete meal there with some protein. Uh, so this will keep you lean and mean, keep you full, uh, and you get a full balanced meal out of it. So Alicia, uh, listen, thanks so much. Aww. This is delicious. And I hope you guys like this recipe. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube or any of the social medias, give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out, lets us know that you like what we're doing. Um, so have a great rest of the day, you guys. Cheers. Cheers.